right, so we've installed a new door stop. And as you can see, it's red because I painted it red, so I, it matches the car. Um, and right now, the window is lowered. And over here, I'm missing a slider. There should be a slider like this in there, but it's missing. I probably just broke or something, I don't know. Uh, but I have to install it and it seems like in order to install this thing I'm gonna have to actually uh, Loosen the window off of a regulator That way I'll be able to slide it in because otherwise I don't think I'll be able to do it that way um, There's literally like no way uh, of Installing it that way, but I need to install it. I have this as a used part. Okay, and uh also a couple more things is after that i'm actually already lubricated this whole area I like a window regulator but i'm gonna add a lot more grease especially to the teeth right there and i'm gonna actually lubricate the lock with the atf so i'll do that as well and then later on we'll start putting this stuff all back together as well as the uh speaker that's in there right now and finally i'm gonna remove this uh seal uh from the bottom and i need to check for rust make sure there's no rust anywhere there and clean all this up nicely all right that's gonna be the main goal and there's a lot of junk in there as well so. all right so what i did is i removed the nut right there and now i can kind of move it out so now if you see if i push it, it gives me a lot more room right now so I might be able to just slide it in, but just be very careful, okay? Don't over stretch this thing, okay? Don't break anything. Okay, well, so it's not that easy. So unfortunately, I'll have to remove this window regulator um, and separate it from the window. That way I can, uh, as you can see, this slider goes through the bottom and slides up like that. So. And unfortunately, without loosening the window or anything like that, I will probably not be able to install it. So I have to loosen this window regulator from the window itself so I can actually put the window through that slider. Yeah, but either way, I'll figure this out, but I want this piece installed in there. It's a pretty common issue that these sliders break because of lack of lubrication and all that stuff. So I'll definitely be putting a lot of grease in here. All right, so I loosened the window regulator, uh, and as you can see right now, I'm pivoting the uh, window so I can actually uh, feed it into that slider right there. Okay, guys. All right, guys, let me show you really quick. The slider is in. Everything is amazing. I added a lot more grease uh, to all this stuff, and I also. Uh, added grease to this sliding rail, all right, sliding rail, and then I also added grease. There's another uh, slider right there, and also added grease to the teeth uh, of the motor. Um, it's actually hidden right now, but yeah, added all that, and then I'll show you the operation of the window right now. I'm gonna go down. Right, make sure when you close the windows never go all the way up just before you finish like i was showing you in other videos just go a little bit slightly so you don't push stress on the regulator and you don't bend it all right and there's my there your teeth right there that added a lot of grease to so right now everything moves nice and smooth finally i'll just have to sorry for the buzzer finally i have to um just clean all this area up and also uh, put either grease or something or fluid film which I have right here that way this uh, prevents all the corrosion and all this stuff all right all right guys uh, it's pretty cold over here as you can see I'm wearing a coat and all that stuff so let me show you really quick I'm almost done with lubricating all this stuff I'm, I'm about to put the door panel back on and uh, as you can see Right there, uh, is, I coated this whole area with grease. And then uh, for the areas that I wasn't able to get to, I just used a fluid film and I sprayed 
everything with fluid film and what it's gonna do is mainly I'm focusing on these where the door trim mounts to I want to make sure that there's no rust here so uh, I want to preserve you want to preserve all that stuff okay and also the bottom clips sometimes the rust last legs to start at those spots and now I'm just finishing up with uh, fluid film all right as much as I can everywhere and also like the bottom right here part so it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be all nicely protected and everything you guys have to preserve these amazing cars okay I'm about to do the same with uh, the uh, um, by re after removing the seal, I'm gonna remove this box carefully. Uh, make sure you're being really careful and patient because it will rip. So you want to make sure you use a plastic tool and just carefully pry it away, okay? Don't force it out or you're gonna rip this seal. So this is what I'm gonna work on right now. I wanna take this seal off and inspect it, everything. Make sure there's no rust and also preserve that spot. So everything looks amazing here after popping the uh, bottom door seal out. Um, you know, everything looks really nice. I just have to use a plastic brush. I just have to clean those crevices, those grooves and where, the, where this thing sits. So other than that, I mean, I'm really happy. I'm going to preserve this baby up even more. Gonna make sure no rust on the bottom and take care of that as well yeah and i need to clean this seal a little bit as well so i'm gonna take care of all that and i'll show you the final results speakers working so that's good So before I installed the uh, before I installed the door panel, I wanted to make sure that the speaker is working. It's all connected and back in. Um, the only thing is, I want to wrap this thing in electrical tape, and I don't know for some reason. I think this got like hot right here or something. It's pretty weird. Okay, so I'll have to uh, wrap this around in electrical tape just in case. All right. Uh, so it doesn't rub through um, and as you can see I installed the protective film as well I used the silicone uh, sealant for that and it works amazing it's a clear silicone and yeah I'm happy about that my dear friends no matter what no matter that it's raining like crazy uh, today uh, I'm almost done with this panel okay it's pretty much all back together everything all right very nice beautiful just have to put the window switch back on and um, also this bottom seal which I'm just waiting for this area to get dry all the way so I can spray my fluid film in there and grease her up and she's gonna be good to go guys and I already uh, checked the operation of the window and everything works great no issues So I'm done spraying and preserving this door and the bottom of it. I used a, a fluid film and I also used a um, silicone grease 